Hey guys, I just want to show you my new rosemary plant. It's going to sit in this pot for a minute until I can find something to plant, bigger to plant it in. I tried to get some different soil and things. And do you know a lot of soil and the stuff that you want to mix in your soil is sold out? I guess a lot of people are making their are doing gardening because of this dang pandemic. So good luck to anybody that's trying to go in there and get certain plants and certain soils and I guess you call it the amendment stuff because a lot of stuff is sold out. But while I'm showing y'all this, I'm going to also sh show you guys the new succulent plants I got. Here is one of them. Why? I don't know. I didn't pay attention. But this plant here is a calicote. It's like the name, like the uh, mother of a thousand. And I hope it doesn't do that kind of growing. I just put it in this pot for now. Y'all get a good look at it. I'll just take a picture. And this one, I forgot the name, but it's succulent. They, all these succulents like full sun, but they don't like to get a sunburn, but they like full sun and not a lot of water. Now I took y'all over here to this pot. I don't know why I still got this little dead rosemary plant sitting up in here. I have to take it out. But this is my other new plant, this succulent here with the burgundy on it. I was trying to find plants with some color. And all the ones that I just poked in here, they are getting some new, the propagated cuttings, succulents, they are getting some new leaves. And I hope they like this soil because I try to make it as um, comfortable as possible for these succulent plants. I got to give me a brush and brush this dirt off of those. But anyway, that's another new plant. I mean, I think I got one more thing. I think that's, no, that was three of them. Here's my propagated little succulent doodad snake plant creation I made in this uh, dang this clay pot the plants in here love this little plant planter but anyway these are my new plants and I hope they be alright because this one it's looking like it's got to get used to his new home because it's looking like it's kind of stress. Get unstressed plant because stress is not good for you. Now this elephant plant bush is just starting to get big and it's doing good. And remember the mint? I told y'all about them dang worms eating my mint. I don't know if another one is in here. But I'm gonna cut this down some more. Well, I'm looking at some leaves over here. Look like some eating on my leaves. I'm gonna have to go in there. That worm looked just like the green color of the leaves. I'm gonna have to carefully turn these leaves over and see if there ain't no dang worm in here. Oh, there it is. Y'all see it? Let me kill it. Y'all see that bastard? Excuse my language, but I just cut his ass in half. I thought I had got them all, but that's those malt. I got something I got, and hopefully that'll take care of these pests. But I'll share that when I use it and let y'all know what I'm doing. And hopefully it'll take care of them. All right. I think I left the other half of it up here. Yep. Let me get my thing. Hold up. See, it's the rest of his body right there. And his green blood leaked on my leaf. Well, I don't see any more worms. So right now, I'm just showing y'all my um, propagated pineapple mint. Pineapple 
type of mint? Yeah. And, um, what was I getting ready to say? Well, hopefully the pictures y'all can see them dang green worms. Now that I know what they look like, I can easily get rid of them. But hopefully this other way I'm about to use is going to get rid of them also. Okay. Um... I guess that's all for the day. Oh, this. Dang, plants poking me everywhere. This the mint plant. I had that little pink thing in there. Pink flowers still growing in there. I'm going to cut this down some more. There's something over here eating this damn plant. Well, the sun. This is my tear gun. It's still struggling to grow. I'm going to take this watch chain plant out of here. I don't know why I put that in there. And let this tarragon have this bed to itself. And uh, all I know is I got to stop suffocating my damn plants. And hopefully Rosemary will survive this time. Everybody else looking like they doing okay. My little propagated things. I need some. Figure out how I'm going to. Plant these things. I chopped the crap up out of this plant, didn't I? <laughs> it's coming back though. But anyway, I'm gonna say bye because this thing is cutting off on me again. Happy 1st of July, y'all. Stay safe out there in the virus world. And um, come back. Stay tuned for more videos. Today is gardening, tomorrow, next day might be a shopping haul, grocery video, sharing with you. Well, I'm going to have to get me a new camera. Alright, that's it. Bye. Pictures. Hi, family. Thanks to, um, welcome back all my subscribers. I don't care if you've been here forever or you just started. You're welcome so much. Welcome back, love you, and thanks for every bit of support. Anybody know the name of this plant? I forgot. It's growing like a tree. I need to put it in a bigger container. Oh, also, y'all heard about the um, the white man and the white lady, husband and wife, pulled um, pistol and a rifle on the um, Black Lives Matter protesters. If you heard about that, let me know in the comments or Google the news. That was madness if I ever seen it. White folks armed. How come some white people can just walk around with all them guns and nothing happens, but when they see black people walking around with guns, they terrified. I am terrified to see anybody walking around with a gun. Especially that white lady had that gun, was pointing that pistol like that. It was dangerous. And her husband too, pointing that rifle at the protesters. Well, have y'all seen that news? If y'all seen that news, leave it in the comments. My camera acting a fool. I gotta get another one. Alright, later. Bye.